I'd say a good eight feet of head here, folks. We're gonna need to run a longer pipe, but that'll end up being probably about uh, maybe 25 foot of head altogether when we're done with this project here in Montana. So right now I've got a PSI gauge up here. I'm gonna walk in a little closer, show you what this looks like. And it's building up pressure as we speak right now. Uh, we can see here, let me zoom in on that for you, maybe you can see it. We're getting towards 50 PSI and it's building pressure. This is a new design, folks. This is a mixture of both a water hammer and a tromp, which a tromp is a water-powered air compressing unit. And that's why I put the big giant column on top of my water ram, is to be able to store a lot of that compressed air from the beginning tromp section of this, which I've already showed you. So we're gonna keep letting this thing build up. So this is not too bad, folks, for only about eight foot ahead here. Let me go ahead and zoom in, show you our PSI. We're now jumping up a little bit more. It's a slow process past the 50. It gets to 50, 51, somewhere in there, really, really fast. And then it's really slow right now. It's taken about four minutes since the last shot to gain that much PSI. Got one final test here for tonight. It's nice and dark. I got the meter now wired in line with the light, so we're going to take a nice amperage reading while we're doing this. So here we go. Nice and steady that thing is. It's working really good. Apply some resistance to that flywheel. It's slowing it down a little at this RPM, but I can put quite a bit of pressure on that. So we can increase the PSI now and actually apply a lot more resistance to that flywheel. These pneumatic rams are capable of generating an incredible amount of force. Got the angle just right. Take a second to start speeding up. Now we're getting faster and faster here.